recognition, revelation. Well, dear friends, uh, wherever you are in the world, we've certainly had some changes since last we all met in Munich. What a different place the world is nowadays. And what are the revelations, the major revelations that we've all seen during this extraordinarily curious time for all of us, wherever we are? Well, the revelation I've noticed is something that's been hiding in plain sight. And that is that the people that we most value, the people who are most important in a crisis situation are oddly not the superstars on Instagram, oddly not the Madonnas in their rose petal bath, oddly, oddly not the Premier League footballers on their six-figure weekly salaries. No, the important people are the very quiet, the very silent, the very humble in many instances, heroes and heroines who go about their business and without whom the whole of the world, the whole of the world's economy, the whole of the health services and all the services we expect in a civilized society would simply collapse. So there we are, that's my first revelation. And that got me thinking, I thought, who are those people? You know, in my country, the United Kingdom, where I currently am locked down every Thursday evening, most of us go outside and we applaud the National Health Service. We applaud those quiet heroines and heroes who go about their business, who look after us when we are in extremis. Nurses, doctors, care workers, and the entire ecosystem that goes around them. And it got me thinking about our family, our ecosystem, our Eurosystem, because do you know what? A lot will change, without doubt, over the next few months and months that we've seen. We will be seeing the light in a completely different world. But you know, in amongst all this mayhem, this crisis, this change, certain things do not change. Certain things are immutable. And those are the core values the core values that we represent in this Euro family of ours. So let's have a look at some of those core values in Euro, E-U-R-A. Well, the core value that we appreciate and I recognized as soon as I joined this family was the core value of empathy, the soft skill that makes you the people you are in this very complex business, dealing with people under enormous strain and stress. And I was watching the other day a fireside chat between our gorgeous former president, Ursa, and Dom. And by the way, can we have a little, a, a sort of a, can we actually have a round of applause for our key people at the Euro staff at the moment who are doing so much to keep us together in these times of difficulty? Thank you, all of you there. So going back to that fireside chat with Ursa, as many of you know, has been in her previous iteration or in, or in her previous iteration, she has been a nurse. Right, she tells us about the fact that she herself has suffered from the COVID-19 virus, but she hardly stops to mention that. She moves on to tell us about her husband, Lars, who's been in intensive care with that virus, and we all thank the Lord that Lars is now doing well. And then she moves on seamlessly to tell us how she's been looking after her staff, making sure they have the right protective equipment, and her clients. Empathy caring for other people as much as you care about yourself, your family and your friends. That is one of the key attributes of Euro as an organization. And long may we stick to that key attribute. You, understanding. Well, of course, we, we all love to see soft skills in operation. Without that, the world will not go round. But if ever you were to go to a hospital, that wouldn't be enough, would it? You'd want to see people with the disciplines, the hard disciplines, the process to look after you. And that is what, as Euro family members, we have too. We have processes, we have disciplines, we have all the processes and disciplines that have been put in place by the Quality Seal. So let's have a look at that one. You have been moving people around the world when governments couldn't manage it. I know for a fact that you have been repatriating people, finding safe houses for people, and with your soft skills, looking after people's food requirements, their children's play requirements, above and beyond the call. That amalgam of soft and hard skills that make you key workers. Which brings me with a seamless segue to one of our other key issues in this conference of ours and which we will cons consider again when we meet in Seville next year. 
reputation and recognition. What is a reputation? A reputation is a brand. It is that seamless amalgam of, of tangibles and intangibles and all those things that go together, effables and if ineffables that come together and create recognition, value. That is your brand. That is the Euro brand. Think about that. Again, with all the work that's been done since I've been a member of this family for over a decade on the quality seal, professionalizing this industry, making it a recognized industry within the world community and within the business community. So much work has been done to make us the professionals we are. That deserves more recognition. That's one thing that must change. Governments have been talking about key workers. And yes, hats off to all those key workers. I believe there are members of our community who have been doing some work on finding out precisely what this business is worth in monetary terms so that governments all over the world could recognize the contribution that the global mobility business makes to the world economy. Wow. That's a conversation we'll pick up when we get back together again in Seville next year. E-U-R, R is my recognition, yeah, of the reputation that you have worked so hard to achieve over the years. And A, A is for adaptability and agility. If ever there was a business or an industry that had to be agile, that had to adapt to the situation in situ, to what's going on in real time with real people under real stress in real crisis, that would be our industry. That is what Eura has been and increasingly will be in the new world that we see when we emerge from this pandemic. It's been a learning curve for all of us. We've seen things that none of us would wish to see in peacetime. We've all lost people close to us, but you people, key workers like all those unsung heroes and heroines in health services across the world who have done your bit to make things better for people in times of severe difficulty. I wish you and all of you, your family, friends, everybody around you, the very best. We'll meet again in Seville. We'll continue this conversation. But just remember, you're a member, you're a family. Just our NHS, E-U-R-A, is a family of key workers and that deserves increased recognition. <laughs>